This week on Jimbo Vision, we've reached critical mass as we review Johnny Depp's new film, Black Mass. And I'm a critic. Brian okay, so Black Mass is Johnny Depp's latest costume drama, directed by Scott Hooper. I hope Tim Burton's okay. It is the mostly true story of the utterly criminal James Whitey Bulger, the South Boston hoodlum who, with the complicity of the local FBI, rose to become one of America's most notorious gangsters. Johnny Depp plays Whitey Bulger, armed with a shades and balding paint look that's straight Ray Wilkins on holiday, a supporting cast of hard-bitten meat and potatoes Boston-looking types, and a uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, of whom more shortly. The film takes its name from a book by two Boston Globe journalists chronicling the murderous rise of Bulger, and you can understand what drew the filmmakers to it. It is an extraordinary story, a local thug protected for years by the FBI. In many ways, it makes a companion piece to that earlier great film from Depp, Donnie Brasco. So is this movie anything like as good as that one? Forget about it. The first issue is Cumberbatch himself. Jimmy's business is Jimmy's business. As Whitey's brother Billy Bulger, Cumberbatch is, in a very real sense, a long way from Holmes. Casting him is the one really daring move of this picture, a little bit like Coppola getting David Niven in as one of his Corleones, and I'm afraid it doesn't entirely work. For all his ability, the sheer cognitive dissonance of seeing him up there with his borrowed Jimmy Cagney accent is almost impossible to overcome. Compare that with Australian actor Joel Edgerton, who does an exceptional job blending in as John Connolly, the FBI man who has an embarrassing bulger in his briefs. For me, though, the biggest issue of this film was the one-note nature of its screenplay. With the exception of one brief scene between Bulger and his six-year-old son, this is basically two hours of bad people doing bad things. Unlike, say, Goodfellas, there's no light and dark to this film, just 50 shades of very dark grey. Now, I make the reference to Goodfellas because that is a comparison that this film seems to actively seek out, including its very own homage to the Joe Pesci funny house scene. Although I'm not convinced that what did you marinate this steak in is going to have quite the same shelf life. Black Mass then lacks a little of Scorsese's wit, pizzazz and invention, not to mention his soundtrack, but it's by no means a bad film. It's competent and, with that one exception, extremely authentic, and it's very neatly structured too, filmmakers using the testimony of the gangsters themselves to frame the various segments of the story. The biggest positive of this film, though, is Depp himself. Measured and murderous as Bulger, blacker than a Spinal Tap album cover, angrier than Jeremy Clarkson, and even quicker on the throttle, it's great to see him back in such chilling form after the rather fade direction his films have taken of late. To sum up then, this is one mass project that doesn't entirely add up to the sum of its parts, but it still equals a very reasonable few hours at the cinema. I'll give it a six and a quarter out of 10. It's all right. Hey, if you feel like subscribing or retweeting, it's all good with me.